guys it's sunil dj here today i'm just going to start my new vlogging session as to sunil dj vlogs and this is my first vlog here so i'm just going to start the vlog by doing something very interesting that's the thing i'm just going to bring up some speakers with my own made amplifier so these are the things we recorded and here we have five speakers one of two of them was very very low powered it's around 3 watts and here we have is a 10 watt here is another one that is i think maybe around 5 watt and here we have is a 40 watt subwoofer these all all are just the speakers other than this three are a, a type of woofer and this just a mid frequency speaker here and what amplifier i'm just going to use for the bleeding process is this uh, my own made amplifier here it's actually a 300 watts rms subwoofer amplifier I just made it for my JBL 12 inch 300 watts RMS subwoofer. So here we have to give the input from the receiver's a low frequency output, and here is the control for the gain of the subwoofer. At the back, you will be getting the output for the subwoofer and the cooling fan. And here we have a temperature monitor with cooling fan controller. and i'm just going to use this uh, high definition music player setup actually i did this i assembled this and this is one of the one of the type that can give you a great experience in sound versus also in video because i'm just planning to make a dvd and uh, 5.1 collaboration with this uh, kit actually this is all the remote kit for the uh, own made amplifiers digital amplifiers for competing them with uh, home av receivers so this is the remote kit and as it combined with the mp3 board here and the rectifier circuit and transformer everything is here it's a high definition uh, mp3 player or something else like bluetooth receiver or something so let's take this uh, all these things to the balcony and just connect them up and start our blowing process guys i'm back and you can see the setup here's the amplifier and i just set up the smallest speaker i have You can see the temperature here. It's around 38.0 degree Celsius. The MOSFET, four MOSFET transistor inside the amplifier casing is not just heating up. You can see we just increased by the point six. You can see the pre-amplifier circuit is here. So now I'm just going to keep the tripod correctly facing this uh, speaker, so you can cl uh, clearly see the speaker blowing up. Just I started my amplifier and I just kept the volume the sub this little speaker went blowed up. So I can't show that in the camera. Okay, guys, just leave that one. This is a similar speaker of three watts here. Let's blow this one. I turned on the amplifier, and the track is going to be played now. Wow! Wow! That's the bit second. Yes, I expected. Just around three seconds, the speaker blown off. I really like this. Guys, here's the next one. I'm just going to play the track now. Oh, so loud! there is no proper connectivity between the cables so it's just getting the pre song it's not getting the full powerful output so i have to make a check of it
guys again the speaker blew up and i just turned on the speaker it's a failure we just blew a speaker successfully in front of camera i'm really sad okay it's blew now recently okay i just go to the next one here this one here is the it's i think it is very loud because the speaker is used in a very cheap a bluetooth speaker it's around 200 rupees bluetooth speaker it's like a hell of noise i think so wow holy shit motherfucker oh my god it's hell of noise i shit my ears can't bear it up guys this is the final 40 watt subwoofer oh I can't bear it up guys, it's so loud, that cranky 5 watt speaker blew up my ears and I'm really panicked that my MOSFET transistor was affected because they are not giving any response till now, so I have to check that one, so wait for me, guys now I'm just going to check my MOSFET amplifier whether it's giving the correct output. Yeah, it's giving. Oh, oh my God, it's giving up around 70 to 80 volt, 80 volts of AC current. So that only my speakers can't struggle up with that. Oh, it's beyond 100 volts. And the transformer used inside this amplifier is just 30 volt. See, it's really powerful. Wow. Oh. So it's perfect. Now let's uh, check that. For let's uh, blew up the 40 watt subwoofer. It's perfect. What is the maximum volume we are getting? It around 100 and maximum around 150 volt. Really great. The power of the MOSFET. <laughs> it's okay. Let's start blowing up the 40 watt subwoofer. Guys, blowing up started and just kept in the very lowest sound I can. Oh, I'm really afraid of loud noise, so I just bring my headset. Oh, it started smoking, guys. Wow, that's the blew up. Shit. Oh, oh, it's really smoky. Wow. Fucked up. All these uh, speakers are fucked up now. I'm really satisfied. And I'm not just uh, blowing the speaker for a case of fun. I just want to know how the speakers get blewed up. Because unknowingly I have blewed up 3 subwoofers in my life. And this, the, practically I'm testing these speakers getting blewed up. And the reason is, the only thing, we are not using the proper uh, matching subwoofer and the speaker, uh, subwoofer and the amplifier. That's the important concept, you have to take it in your mind. So this is a amplifier, I have did it for my JBL subwoofer. And I have to use this only with the JBL or else with the same power rating for 400 or 300 watts RMS to a Sony so it's plot subwoofer or Pioneer or Rockford Fosgate or any subwoofer 12 inch subwoofer with the appropriate wattage and ohms that can be used with this. If you use an unmatched subwoofer with an unmatched amplifier or heavy amplifier you will be getting a starting to feel something nasty smell that's the melting of insulation given to the coil before the magnet uh, just moves its uh, diaphragm so the insulation just melts and gives a very nasty smell so you have to turn off your amplifier and check the matching if the matching is not appropriate just change the amplifier or the subwoofer that should match the uh, amplifier the amplifier which you are using should match the subwoofer so then only you will be getting a get the great effect as plus a longer life lifetime that's the only thing I have to tell and we have blew up around three speakers on camera and two speakers 
uh, without camera recording the reason is uh, they just blew up when the amplifier started so this is the final thing so the first vlog is uh, fully depends on blowing up and the second vlog will be i don't know i didn't decide what to do and this is the thing there's the pre pre amplifier and here's the subwoofer amplifier and here's the blued 40 watts subwoofer it's a 4 inch it's a 4 inch so all these speakers are blued up it's time for um uh, ending this vlog so thanks for watching guys uh, this is my first first vlog is this i'm doing the vlogging first time now because other than i did vlogging in techno champs channel it's not a vlogging it's just a vlogging i'm just uh, doing some reviews and tear down videos and this time this is the first time i'm doing a vlogging i'm showing my face in front of my selfie camera of my smartphone so it's the first time i'm doing the vlogs so this is the first vlog i have completed it successfully but only thing i didn't show two speakers uh, blowing up because they just blew when the amplifier turns on turned on so our next vlog will be on uh, today night or even maybe on next week sunday so i will see you back there thanks for watching guys subscribe this channel it's my new channel sunil dj vlogs is my new channel and techno champs is my old channel all these uh, channel links will be on the description just go and check it out goodbye guys